Hey everybody, it's Jennifer Gonzalez from Cult of Pedagogy again. We're talking again about Make It Stick. And in this video, I'm going to review chapter three. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this summer uh, we're reading Make It Stick. Uh, which is a book all about the science behind learning and everything I've read in it so far it really has got some good stuff about the way we do things now to help ourselves and our students learn versus how our brains actually work so it's got a lot of really good classroom applications okay uh, and also I'm gonna be writing a review on this on July 15th so if you want to be done with the book by the time I do the review then have it done by July 15th okay chapter 3 is called mix up your learning and here's my takeaway from that the way that we practice learning right now, for the most part, when we're developing a new skill, um, a lot of times what we do is we'll practice that one skill over and over and over again until we master it, and then move on to another skill and then practice that one over and over again. And what the authors of this book are saying is that that is actually not the best way to learn things, that it's better to space out your practices. So um, do, a, do a little, get a, get a little bit good at it, and then wait a while especially if you can sleep in between, between the practices, something about sleeping really reinforces it. Um, and then do a little bit more and then space it out and then do a little bit more. And that, that space, that little bit of forgetting is actually better for learning. Um, another thing they talk about is interleaving, which is taking one skill, practicing it a little bit, then moving right to another skill and practicing that a little bit and then going back and forth instead of just mastering one skill and then stopping and moving to another one. Um, Again, this is something that can be very frustrating for learners because a lot of learners would prefer to master something first before they move on. But the science is saying it's better to feel that frustration um, of going back and forth that you actually can learn things better. So the way we can apply this to our classroom practice is, you know, if we're going to do a big review, instead of doing one big review before a test, think about doing lots of mini reviews the whole week, doing five minute reviews instead of one big one. Um, and teach this concept to your students also. When they're studying for a test, instead of one big cramming session at the end, have them think about doing five minutes a night um, over time. So anyway, that's chapter three. There's definitely a lot more in it than what I just covered, but this is a, a some big takeaways anyway. Um, so if you want to join us, I'd like to hear what you think about chapter three. So um, give me some comments below and I'd like to hear what you think about it. And uh, if you'd like to join us, there's still plenty of time. July 15th, come on over to cultofpedagogy.com and you can find out about where to get this book. Thank you.